my higher self, old chaos and his new world. Chaos seems to finally be settling on your planet. Everything seems to go from bad to worse. Note that despite the external chaos, its life usually follows the paths he has traced for himself. Chaos shouted from the rooftops by newspapers, radio and TV news is part of the old agenda of Illuminati, the old agenda of the darkness, only to generate fear, to destroy the enemies who dare to defy the darkness. Note again that throughout the history of his contemporary world, those so-called evil, always are in developing countries, or in the most isolated countries in Europe and North America. Yes because these are the heroes, but these are the example to follow. And your press of this assumption, that they are the heroes, and in all other countries, nobody pays. And woe to him who dares to challenge the empire, who dares to challenge the potentates, who dares pay attention to his people who dare to care for the needy in this country. Poor this, it will be defenestrado, charged with corruption never proven, and your personal life and political fall from grace, all widely shouted from the rooftops for your press. This is your old world. A world of cunning and deceitful, that through their means of control and manipulation, the press, always stole and continued to steal peoples and nations. But this was his old world. Unfortunately for all these deceivers, the light expands upon the earth, and as much as the dark ones fight, and they become more aggressive, know that all this time the wind light. For it is God's command. Think your old house needs reforms, need to replace the roof, the rooms are small, need another bathroom, the taps leak, the walls shrink them, the tiles come loose, clogging the drains live. Reflect well, how much time and sweat will be needed to fix everything. Long, for sure. And much sweat. And many headaches, too. Think again. Would not it be better to overthrow this old house and build a new house and planned? Which of these two options would bring the end more happiness for you? Try to repair the old one? Or demolish the old and build the new one? Imagine the size of this planet. Imagine how many countries, cities, towns, houses, Imagine the myriad of problems they all have. Imagine how much effort it would take to fix it all. Imagine resistance and opposition from those who do not want change. Imagine how difficult this would be. The new age will be built through the creations that everyone does through your thoughts, dreams and plans. The new age is the new, a new world, a new society, a new you. And it all starts with your decision and intention to build a better life for himself. Just that. It's a first step of many that will follow expanding more and better his life, and everything begins with its creation. Therefore, dispose of the old, look at him, thank him, contemplate how much the old man helped him get here. Understand what lessons you have learned. And thank the old man again. Give it to God so that God can recycle it and turn it into love again. And from this point, with the warm heart of gratitude, start creating your new world, a new life, whatever it is you want to create the new in your life. Create. You dare. Think big. Do not forget anything. Make plans, set steps, everything in their way, because there are no rules, only you are who dictates its rules. It is a new world. Your world. Caprice. Create it with love. My higher self.